Dave will be out to show his uh, love and patience. Paul said it's here to I don't believe that. One time I was, uh, I wanted to sing, and I couldn't sing really, and I still can't probably, but I tried. But I was working as a deputy sheriff, and we had a big, uh, huge community gathering, and, uh, they was country and western people up there, and I was in uniform, and really you're not supposed to uh, talk about God or religion in uniform. It gets you a lot of trouble. And, uh, <laughs> God definitely impressed me. He said, I want you to get up on that stage, and I want you to sing your testimony. These people did I mean, the sheriff was there, and he said, I said, Lord, that's what you want me to do. That's what I'm going to do. So I go up, and one of the guys was, can you pick up, with, if I need anybody at sing? He said, I tried to uh, talk to him. He said, yeah, I think I probably could. And, uh, so I got up for a new form, and I figured I'd be in the Vandy style of the call for something. Anyhow, if I can sing here, surely I can sing in church. But you never know what God's going to ask you to do. But, you know, there have been times that down through life that I've failed God miserably. And, it's been my fault because that sweet spirit will always warn you every time. He'll say, son, you better be careful right here. This is dangerous. That's God's wonderful love. He's been so good. What's good about it, we punish ourselves if we make mistakes, but he never punishes. What's done is done with him. Yeah, he loves us. Yeah. You know, I'm just thankful it's real. I don't know what I do without God. I was raised in a good congregation. Raised by a good mother. Uh, you know, you might think if you'd like to do more for your kids, send them to college, do all these things that everybody wants to do, but the very best thing you can do is live right in front of you. Because that's what life's about. That's what God. You know, it's short. I'm 42 years old. It seems like I just graduated high school. You know, life's short. I'll try to sing this song to the glory of God. I'm not sure that I can, but I'll be bold. Amen. I sing your prayers each and every day. It seems like the devil, if you think you got him recognized in one area of your life, he comes another way. Oh, yeah. It never fails. He can make things look so beautiful and pure, and all this is all right. So you're going to do this, and pretty soon, you know, what's wrong? I'm, strong. I'm like Samson. I don't have any strength. The Spirit of God will leave and he'll come back later and he'll say, this is why you failed. He'll, has he ever done that for you? He'll tell you why you failed. Because he wants to bring you out of that. I mean, he wants to. He wants you to win. He didn't design this thing that we would fail. But I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate this congregation. I thought about if this building was full, you know, it'd, uh, it'd be different. But not really. If you go to any congregation, there's always a nucleus of people who are to serve God. I mean, there's just people that come. I mean, I'm talking just about any denomination or the people that are really trying their hardest. They'll just be a nucleus of people who really want to live for God. And God never worked with the multitudes. I mean, He's tried. He wants to, but He works with select people and get His word out there. So we've been honored today by His presence again. And I really appreciate Brother Brian. I've watched his life. I've worked with him. So I put stress on him. I've seen people put stress on him, and he's just as genuine out in the public, even probably more understanding than he is here. And I've, I've got respect and honor for each one of you. Just pray for me and my children and my family.
second verse talks about snares. If anybody's ever trapped, well, I've trapped a nuisance trapper, but a snare is like a piece of cable. Like, you take a piece of cable, you put it you see like air on a fence where a coyote's going through. What they'll do, they'll run through there real fast and the snare will catch it. A lot of times it breaks the neck. Sometimes they release it. That's what a snare is. There's different kinds of snare. The devil is the trickster. He knows how to snare it. I mean, he'll set so many different things in motion. If you don't listen to God, you're going to get snared somewhere. But I mean, we're sheep. We're not like foxes and coyotes and goats. Can you imagine a little sheep in a snare bleeding for its father? And he'll be right there and he'll take it right back off of it. Wipe us off, dip us back in the hole, and say, you're, you're mine. You're not the devil's property. But, you know, it's, it's really a real battle for you. You know, I look around, I, I just, uh, I do respect each one of you. I mean, I just think there wasn't a church to do what we do. You'd be all one. You know, it's uh, a lot of changes over the years, but God's missing things. I appreciate each and every one of you.